Howdy partners, it's your buddy John here, welcome back to In The Kitchen. Today got something a little fancy, uh, making some salmon with a little bit of an interesting sauce using pomegranate juice. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoy it, let's go ahead and jump right into it. Surprisingly, this recipe doesn't really call for a whole lot. Um, what you're going to need is a one and a half pound center cut salmon filet, about a half a cup of pomegranate juice, right, right, right over here, that's a shallot, pomegranate juice, off camera. <laughs> Two tablespoons of chopped shallots. Uh, about a half a, how about to say about a quarter a teaspoon of rosemary. Uh, probably about seven tablespoons of butter. And really any kind of seasoning you like. I've been using lately a uh, French seasoning called Herbe de Provence. I really like that, so I'm going to be using that in this recipe. Go ahead and start by first preheating the oven to 400 degrees. While that's uh, warming up, we're going to go ahead and prep the rest of the recipe. Go ahead and um, lightly oil a rimmed cooking pan. I think this is going to be about big enough, I think. You don't really need a really big one. You just put this down in here just to make sure if it fits. That looks fine to me. Good. Something to note about salmon. It tends to have very small bones called pin bones, which cause a pretty major choking hazard. The easiest way to find them is just to run your finger along. If you do come across any, you could pull them out pretty easily with a sterilized pair of tweezers. Luckily though, this one didn't seem to have any, so moving on. Next step is just to season the salmon. You don't really need a whole lot, so I'm just going to lightly salt and pepper it. Just a little bit here and there, and that should be fine. Alright, while we're waiting on the oven to heat up, let's go ahead and chop up the rest of the ingredients. Go ahead and start with the shallots. Um, I know you only need two tablespoons, but I just went ahead with the one big shallot here, and that pretty much came out to almost exactly two ta uh, tablespoons. Well, make sure you chop up the uh, shallots pretty small. You don't want huge pieces because this is going to be going into a pot with pomegranate juice. It's going to be boiling down uh, just to give the pomegranate juice a little bit more of a uh, flavor. So you don't want big chunks, you want small pieces. Time to move on to the rosemary. I'm not exactly sure if this was enough. Um, I think it was. I actually picked these uh, leaves here from Rosemary Wild. I actually have them growing out in my yard. Quite a few. I'm pretty lucky to be honest because I don't always have to go buying these some of these ingredients because I can pretty much uh, get easy access to them while they're growing. Alright, ovens ready. I'm going to go ahead and pop the salmon in here at 400 degrees for 12 to 15 minutes. You don't want to let it go too long because it will just dry it out. So we'll just let it go for a little bit in here. Time to start on the sauce. Go ahead and start by pouring in the half a cup of pomegranate juice. You could add uh, some red wine in there if you want. It gives it a little bit of an interesting flavor. If you do, I'd say about a quarter cup of uh, red wine, quarter cup of juice. Go ahead and throw in the shallots, and then go ahead and throw in the um, rosemary and other seasonings. I kind of, I really like this um, Herbe de Provence that I've been using for a lot of recipes lately. Kind of gives it a really interesting flavor. It's got uh, several things mixed in there. Although, to be completely honest, I'm not exactly sure if I'm pronouncing it correctly. <laughs> French. Go ahead and bring it up to a boil, let all those flavor flavors mingle in there. Um, if it looks like it, the juice is starting to boil out too much, you can go ahead and add a little bit more juice here and there. Just make sure you don't go overboard. Go ahead and let it boil together for several minutes. Um, after a while, though, Probably about, I'd say, six minutes. You'd want to go ahead and turn the heat down to low. Get ready to add in the butter. The butter is going to, uh, oh, got some more shallots here. Go ahead and throw those in. The butter is going to uh, help thicken things up a little bit. So you're going to want to whisk that in. It's also going to help to add back a little more liquid that has been boiled out. So flavor, thickness, add a little bit more to what's been lost to the um, juice or sauce during boiling. Again, if you feel like the sauce needs it, you can go ahead and put a little bit more juice into it. So I went ahead and did this here. It looked like I lost quite a bit during the boiling process. Go ahead and throw in the last few pieces of butter. You're going to want to do this one at a time. Don't, don't throw all the butter in at once. Just have a few things left to prepare, but the salmon looks ready. So I want to go ahead and turn the oven down to 200 while waiting for the rest to finish up. 
All right, all right, everything is done. I went ahead and made some green beans to go with it and some, um, I think that was pine nut couscous? Couscous? Is that how you pronounce it? It's like a weird rice thing. I, I don't know. I kind of like it. Go ahead and uh, drizzle on the sauce here. It didn't really thicken up as much as I thought it would. But hey, at least this episode we didn't have as many disasters as we usually do. I, I don't know, the camera work was pretty bad. Well, partners, I guess I'm going to go ahead and call this the episode here. This actually went faster than I thought. I thought this would be a longer episode. But, um, hopefully you guys enjoyed. Uh, I've actually uh, been pretty surprised by how many people have been watching this series. Thank you guys so much for your support. I've uh, actually uh, had somebody ask uh, if I would like to do a collaboration kind of video on this uh, series. And uh, that person is my brother. But you know what? I think I want to do that. I think that would be a very interesting here. Um, we're already talking about what we're going to be doing. So uh, thank you partners again so much for watching. If you enjoyed, feel free to click the like and subscribe. Very much appreciated. It really helps me out. And I will see you partners next time. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.